This is Work BC. Real people. Inspiring stories. Hi, I'm Danny. I've held a lot of jobs in my life. I've been in service, in retail, even been an amateur poker player. Now that I'm a filmmaker, I thought I'd turn the lens on people who have made their own career changes to discover just how they found their fit. Four years into the job, I was just kind of working every day, not really anything changing and I needed a change. But he didn't really know which direction to take or how to go about it. Usually only 4% of business actually survive the first year. Once again, this can take a while to hone in on, then you'll be talking with your business advisor one-on-one -on -one each week. I'm not meant to work under anyone for the rest of my life. I need to start on my own and kind of set my own hours, do my own thing. When you're stepping on your own, you're taking a big chance. You don't know what's going to happen. In 2012, 18% of British Columbians claim to be self-employed. That's one in every five people who own their own business and pay their own salary, which makes me wonder, how could I become my own boss? Well, it takes a lot of passion, determination, dedication. It can be a lot of hard work, but more and more people every day are learning what it takes to be in charge of their own future. Well, uh, my name's Kyle Hunick. I like being able to uh, design and build myself. I went to school for industrial design, so I fancy myself a bit of a designer. Concepts, drawings, and then finished installation. I've only been in business for less than a year. It's complete 180, though. Like, it's totally different than working for someone else. I have no one to blame. Everything that I do is now 100% done by me. How have things been since he started his own business? Things have changed quite a bit. I would say Kyle is much happier before he was working at Straight Line Designs. And he had a lot of good training there and it was really beneficial for him, but now he is able to take on jobs and creations of his own. Uh, at what point in your tenure there did you realize you wanted to be your own boss and create your own business? About four years in, I was like, well, I know I want to start a business. I don't really know how to do it. I was lucky enough to come across this program. So yeah, they help you come up with a business plan. And then towards the end, once you present your full-fledged business plan, you can get a certain amount of uh, government seed money. I was surprised to hear there's a program to help people start their own small business. It was really encouraging to hear, especially because small businesses are such a big part of BC's economy. Using WorkBC resources, I discovered many organizations in the area provide similar programs to the one Kyle attended. By retracing Kyle's footsteps, I met program manager Andrea Welling with the YMCA, who was willing to show me around the facility. I wanted to know exactly how the program prepares participants for self-employment and entrepreneurship. Hey. Hey. Hey, Danny. How are you? Good. Welcome to the Robert Lee YMCA. Thank you. Our employment training programs include self-employment, include our youth employment training programs and um, programs for, for adults as well. So we have 25 participants in our program, and we have four intakes a year, so we have 100 participants per year. So even though it's a sole proprietorship or even incorporated, you will likely build a team of people who are going to help you be successful. So it's a matching of your values with your skills. We're very much at the beginning of building the foundations, talking about why are we here, what's important to them, um, what's their vision, what do they want to achieve. And ultimately, what do you try and instill in the participants in the program? Often what I talk about is how this is very much about a lifestyle shift. Um, almost a different way of thinking as a business person to accomplish their goals. And what sort of participant was Kyle? Hardworking, um, you know, really persevering, worked very hard on his plan and had a vision. You know, Kyle's got contracts, he's got this blog and he's renovated his, you know, garage, so he's got this amazing studio. Really excited for him and uh, his successes. You love doing what you do and you're good at it, but you know it's time for a change. You'd like to start your own business, but where do you begin? WorkBC.ca is a great place to start. It can help you find your fit and learn what it takes to go out on your own and be your own boss. It also directs you to WorkBC employment centers where you'll find programs and resources to learn new skills like how to write a business plan, financial management, marketing, and self-promotion. Kyle knows what it takes to be an entrepreneur, and with help from WorkBC, he's on his way to building a successful business and a bright future. So this is what I'm thinking for the kitchen. Um, as you can see, this is the OSB plywood. Is what it is. There's a bunch of CO2 tanks and stuff yeah, in the back, yeah. right? So you have to actually be able to get to the back. That's great, man. That's really cool. Since he completed the program, it's been amazing. It's been really, really fun. It, it's been nice to see him grow and to be happy and fulfilled with his job. And as far as us, now life has started. And as I went to meet Kyle at his latest installation, the whole idea of success really started to come into focus. 
The journey towards self-employment certainly can be a challenge. But after talking with everyone involved and learning what tools and programs are available, I began to see how, with the right help, you can find your fit and achieve your dreams.